Pickleball is definitely becoming one of the best known sports among the people of the US. People are going crazy about it, and that's a good thing, but not all the time. Recently, a pickleball guru was charged as a felon because apparently, the authorities considered his actions as damaging public property. Here's everything you need to know. So, this is what happened. A man named Arslan Gurney, commonly known as the mayor of pickleball, arrived at the Central Park Recreational Center to play pickleball. However, it seems like his luck brought him there just for him to get sued by the Denver authorities. The person we're talking about is a regular at the park and comes along with some of his fellows to play pickleball on the basketball court. The Central Park Recreational Center doesn't have any designated courts for pickleball players. Instead, the park authorities have temporarily marked out a pickleball court using a cloth marker that looks more like a yellow tape. The mayor of pickleball saw that the markings were fading away and weren't even visible anymore, so he used a sharpie to restripe the lines. According to the people who know him, Gunny had no intentions of destroying public property. Instead, he was actually just trying to be helpful. What consequences did the mayor of pickleball face? As far as we know, Gunny was granted an arrest warrant three days after he restriped the court. Not just that, right now, he is also facing felony criminal mischief charges. Charges. According to the latest report, the Denver City authorities are claiming a whopping $10,000 fine for the damage Gunny has done. While the arrest warrant and charges are pretty much understandable, the amount that the city is claiming is under attack by pickleball enthusiasts and other Denver residents. When one of the newspapers shared this news on Twitter, the replies to the tweet described how weird these charges and fines are for the residents. A Twitter use called this whole thing asinine, while another one said that this reeks of a city who is broke and looking for revenue. Chris O'Shea, another Twitter user, asked whether it was now a crime to improve a local pickleball court that the authorities have neglected, while at Jack Burton's truck uses his humor and said that the prison pickleball league just got a brown ringer. The Denver residents aren't very happy with the Denver officials over this action, and they are calling out to them by commenting on the way they are taking care of the city. One of the residents say that Denver needs to become a democratic city because even if you try to improve, you are smashed with a fine in your face. How did the pickleball community of Denver take this incident? As expected, Denver's pickleball community isn't happy with what the authorities have done. Jan Dever, one of Gunny's close friends and a fellow pickleball player, said that the whole pickleball community is shocked and saddened by these actions. The pickleball players in Denver are now swarming in Gunny's support, and that shows how they took this news. Dever added saying that the community called him the mayor of pickleball and that has a total of 30 letters that he'll be submitting to the lawyer. This is to attest the kindness and generosity of Gunny. Not just that, even Gunny has written a letter apologizing to the Denver Parks and Recreation. One of Gunny's fellow pickleball players, Holland Hoskins, is right now working as a his attorney and will be fighting Gunny's case against the City Hall. Another pickleball enthusiast and the Central Park resident, Joey Alice, also had a lot to say about Gunny. Alice said that Gunny is always helping others learn pickleball. She added, saying that the sport is super social and everyone in the area knows what kind of person he is. Alice also criticized the authorities, saying that their actions are clearly too much of an overreaction. According to Alice, what Gunny did can't be considered vandalism as he is an adult and not some teenager who was carving his or his girlfriend's name on the floor. Not just that, Alice believes believes that banning Gunny from the park and restricting him from exercising is just like giving him a death sentence. If you ask us, we think Alice is pretty much right about the situation, and Gunny's actions can't be considered a crime as no harm was meant on his side. What do the Denver officials have to say about the situation? Even though almost everyone is on Gunny's side, the Denver officials still stand the charges. When asked about it, one of the representatives said that it's their duty as well as responsibility to protect the city's assets and public property. Not just that, they also said that damaging public property isn't acceptable and is considered a criminal offense that can never be tolerated regardless of the space or building it's done at. As for the reports, law enforcement is investigating the situation right now, while the pickleball game is temporarily suspended in order to assess the damage and repairs required. Now, if you ask for the details about the situation, almost everything is still unknown to us. It's still unclear whether the cloth markers were in place or not, nor do we know about Gunny and the officials talked about. The only thing that's clear is that the accused used permanent markers and drew boxes and cross signs all over the floor to create a makeshift pickleball. Now, average punishment for people who damage public property in Denver. So everyone's saying the fine that Denver officials have slapped Gunny with is bizarre. We did some research, and it turns out that it is way more than what normally happens. As per the damage destroyed public property case outcomes and statistics in Denver, Colorado, only 11.1% of people who are charged with a felony after damaging the public are sent to jail, and the sentence only lasts up to 15 days in jail. On the other hand, the maximum fine that anyone has ever paid for such charges is $1,000. Well, the Parks Association has claimed a whole $10,000 for the repairs. That's weird, and we doubt that Gunny even affords to pay that much money. Now, another lawsuit, another pickleball story. We thought it was right to bring back the 2021 lawsuit that also involved a pickleball game. Last year, a Superior Court judge sued Fairfield Town after he suffered several injuries, including a broken neck while playing pickleball at a town-owned
Stone Senior Center. As per the reports, Wenzel, the judge, had suffered from broken ribs and neck after he ran into a concrete wall while playing the game. According to his complaint, he was seeking damages against Elizabeth Holm, who was serving as his instructor that day alongside the town authorities. The lawsuit said that Holm had failed to warn him about the wall and moved him after he got injured instead of calling a medical professional. For the town, it said they were wrong to put the walls too close to the court, that also without any padding. Next, there's a lot more to pickleball than fun and joy. Pickleball is definitely an extremely fun game. However, not only does the ball make a sound, but we as humans also tend to make noise whenever we are excited. Well, you might be happy while playing the game, but the neighbors aren't. There have been multiple incidents in which the neighbors had to report complaints about the noise that pickleball players made while playing matches. In January 2019, Punta Gorda, Florida City Council had to discuss the pickleball noise complaints because there are too many of them. Not just that, in New York, some Ridgewood residents also had the same problem, which forced the mayor to padlock all pickleball courts in the area. This isn't all. Ridgewood residents even took extreme measures to get rid of the noise the game makes. Some reports suggest that Ridgewood residents have started building new walls so that the noise doesn't enter their homes. That's a lot of work to just stop hearing the sound of a ball hitting the court. Along with Ridgewood and Punta Gorda, residents of Berkeley also don't really seem to love the sound and noise that the game comes with. After the game started getting popular in different neighborhoods of the city, the number of noise complaints also hiked. Honestly speaking, the game is a social one, and the ball hitting the floor repeatedly makes an annoying sound. This is why we can't really say that the people who complained about it are in the wrong. Mostly the issue arises because the pickleball courts are too close to houses or apartment complexes. So it's safe to say that someone might end up suing authorities for building courts so near to their houses. After all, it's the public right, isn't it? Pickleball is definitely an addictive game, and barely anyone would dislike it. However, the conflict between the game and local laws is creating much trouble. It's not new that people have gotten involved in a whole lawsuit due to a game, but it's not very common either. In Gunny's case, we hope that the mayor of Pickleball doesn't have to pay such a huge fine, because he was simply trying to be a good citizen, we think. For now, this is everything we got for you, fam. But don't worry, because we'll be back with more interesting news and updates very soon. Till next time, stay safe and stay healthy. Adios.